we did a little antique shopping. Um, my husband and a friend and I did a little antique shopping and a few of her friends came along, but I didn't get to spend much time with them because they were in a separate part of the store. So um, we were at a, like an antique mall and it was a great distraction because she's just moved from her, um, she was living in a camper just as a, um, a short time kind of thing, like a year. And she got to missing times with the family like comfortable in their house so um they decided to go ahead and buy a house so they still had their camper and were camping friends that's how we met so um i went with her and it was really really fun um i'm not used to antiquing with anybody other than my husband so we had a great time um she was looking for things to decorate her home with it's not a new home but it's new to her so she was looking for one-of-a-kind things like um she got some of these gorgeous um, glasses like this, but she got them in clear, and this was more flared here. So she got a set of these, um, six of them, and a pitcher for $40. So um, that was at a um, sort of like a junk shop slash thrift shop slash an antique shop. So... That was one of the things she got, and she got some casserole dishes, just the um, fire king or whatever. I mean, she she really racked up. She got some beautiful things. Um, she got some canisters, those beautiful, beautiful. Um, I have to insert a picture of what she got, the canisters. They were just absolutely gorgeous. I've actually thought about those, and I saw them. Um, if you'll look back in a, in a video when I was thrifting in Georgia, I found the exact one she wanted for $14.99 for a set of four, and they were absolutely beautiful. At least I think they're the same. Um, so, and she got a set of ironstone bowl, not ironstone, but um, stoneware bowls. Just beautiful stuff. She got a lot of things, and it was a nice, it was nice to help her look for things like that. Um, her daughter and her mother-in-law both collect the, um, that blue glass, the, um, um, cobalt glass so it was just really really interesting I really enjoyed looking for things with her and because it's such a big mall and there's so much to see so I really enjoyed that um, I want to show you a few things that I got sorry the puppies are playing hey hey puppies hi can y'all calm down a little bit please so they're playing anyways I hope y'all can hear over them but um the one place I went, um, they always give away a free Bible, and it's that antique slash junk store that we went to. And um, they always give away a free Bible or a free religious book. So I got this pretty book uh, Bible. It's just a new, uh, it's a King James, and it's not very old. I think it was from the 60s. Um, but I love, you know, guys, I just love antique Bibles or old Bibles or just knowing they could have changed somebody's life. This one was, was printed in England. So, um, London, England. That's pretty cool. Um, trying to see what year it is, but um, I'm not seeing it, but um, I love this kind of thing. I really, I love to look at, especially the ones that are marked in. I just love those. I hope y'all can hear over the puppies. My grand dog and the baby are playing. So um, this is another thing I got. It's like a, it's a cookie cutter. I think it's a cookie cutter. Y'all have to let me know. But um, hang on just a second. Let me let the babies out. Sorry, I'm back. Um, their nails on the floor sometimes are a little distracting. Not to me because I'm used to it, but to y'all, I imagine it could be very distracting when you're trying to listen to this. So anyways, I think this is a cookie cutter just, or it could be a pancake mold. I just liked it. I like the little thing that's on it. It's just a little piece of wood that's on it, but um, you could even make your egg, you know, put it here and then you could just lift it up when it's done. Um, I just liked it. I thought it was adorable. Um, I got this at the antique mall. I love Americana stuff and look at that awesome eagle. It's a candle holder, but it would look really cute with a little bit of greenery hanging out here or um, a couple of flags in here. I just thought it was really sweet and it was 
$2.99. I think it's just really cute. And it's the iron stone. It's definitely iron stone the way it looks. So I um, also got this little crock. It's not marked or anything. But I just love these. It's a small one. Um, if you see, I have quite a few. Not of these. I have one like this because I have a... Um, like a cork in it. I think it's up here. Yeah. Um, it's this one right, let me see if I can get my finger right. It's this one right here. So it just doesn't have the brown around the top. But that one's got a little cork top in it. And so anyways, I just, I just think they're sweet. You can put whatever you want in them and I just think they're adorable. And of course if I, um, that's some of the brown paint or whatever it is on it. So um, I've already cleaned these up. And I also got this adorable little mini creamer. I love these little personal creamers. I think they're precious. And this is, I know where maybe. I'm not sure if y'all can read that, but it's sweet. I just love it. It reminds me of the 1970s when they painted up some of the Camaros and stuff with this this brown and brown or black black brown and mustard i mean it's i just think it's adorable so um another thing i got and don't want to forget this because i'm afraid i'll forget it this was by far my favorite it's stained and crazed i don't know if y'all can see it or not god please don't let me drop this but it's just a small pitch. It's not extremely small, but it's not a creamer. It's just a smaller pitcher, and it's it's got a chip on it. And the guy says, "Are you sure you want this? It's got a chip." And look how um, stained it is inside too. And I'm like, "That makes what I want. That's why I want it." So um, it's just precious. And I have another one. Um, sorry, I got something in there. Another one very similar to it. This is not quite as crazed and stained as this one. Look how in the inside it looks like that. And it's clean. It's just, it's all staining. Isn't that cool? I just, they're the same size. And they look so cute in my cabinet here with the two over there. Actually, I like, ooh, I am so scared I'm going to knock those little hearts over. Especially getting stuff in and out of here, but. I just love the way they look. I also got these two. Um, I got this little plate. Um, I forgot to tell you all the prices of these, but I got this little plate. And it's got like wormhole looking things in it. So it's just cute. I like it. It looks like a saucer, a wooden saucer. And I got this one. And it was, I actually put the... Um, I think I left it on there too long, but I put the oven cleaner on it and it's in German and it says, now it had a tag on it that said, um, give us this day our daily bread. So it's supposed to be in German. If anybody can read German and you can see this, it looks like ch cheese. I don't know. Anyways, I love it. And I love that it's in German. I also have a German Bible. So it's so pretty. I, I love this. It was a little shiny and a little dark. So I just love the way it turned out. I think it's just sweet. Um, I actually, believe it or not, <laughs> I think that is all. And that's so funny for me. I got a... The milk glass candle holder, but that's not milk glass, it's iron stone. The individual creamer, German wood platter, and white milk pitcher as is. The pitcher was $9.99, which is so cheap. I, you know, usually you pay $30 or something for that size. Um, the platter, the wood platter was um, $6.99, $6.99, which is great. I just love it. Um, this was a dollar. This was two ninety nine. 
I love the eagle. I just, and he's got stars and stripes on his wings. He's so pretty. Um, this little mini croc, and you can still see it a little bit. It was $2. I've scrubbed it and it hasn't come off all the way, but that's what happens when they use the Sharpie. Permanent marker. Um, um, I don't, I think this was $2.99. Just love it. It's so cute. And so actually I only spent $24.59. Isn't that great? Um, and I just absolutely love everything I got. So um, I will display a couple of the things and show you what I did with them. So um, I just want to share you guys, share with you guys what I got because I just I don't get to go truly antique shopping enough, and I love antiques. Um, I'm very lucky sometimes that I'll find at a thrift store antiques, and I just love them. So, um, but if you'll look right here, isn't that great? Let me see if I can see it. Twenty-four fifty. I think it says fifty-eight. Isn't that great? I'm so excited. <laughs> And hubby was with us. Um, he came with us to, um, I'm not sure if he was supervising the spending of mine. Not that I would ever overspend. Or um, he just loves that stuff. I mean, everybody's like, oh, how do you get your husband to go antiquing? And he enjoys it. So um, he's always looking for his um, pipes and pipe lighters. And so he enjoys it as well. So, um so we did that and um we just went to i think we i don't even think we went to a yard sale or anything but i'll show you a couple of things styled and we'll go from there the lighting's not very good in this um, cabinet but i put one of my beautiful um, glasses there the new ones that i just thrifted um, I put the little crock here with three butter pats and this sweet little um, individual creamer. I have an old teapot, coffee pot here, very old. Um, I have a crock with some wooden utensils in it, and a couple of Dundee jars with some uh, butter pats or cookie stamps, whichever. There's an old um, mold, like a jello mold. There's the little tiny wooden plate. Here's the other wooden plate right here. So it looks really good because it's a white, this is painted white on the inside and so that makes those colors pop in there. So I put my two little um, um, heart-shaped cheese molds in there, cheese strainer molds. And I have a very old um, stained pitcher right there with some um, cotton stems coming out of it. Here I have one of the um, mini pitchers, and on this side you'll see my, I love my ironstone and my baby shoes. Here's a couple of little old crocs that I have. Um, they're very, very old and they're small, but I just love them. I thrifted these as well. Um, another of my cheese strainer molds, and then the other I have a set of, a set of ironstone oval plates small platters there and then I have a like an oval bowl in my newest um, ironstone pitcher so and while I'm here I'll just show you I have a few of my um, Ray Dunn things down here I love this little um, creamer right here it's I just love the shape and I have some vintage spoons in there and I have a little tea strainer um, ball coming out of my teapot here's another jello mold I just love these and how stained they are. They're ironstone. And I have another little sweet individual creamer here. So, y'all, I can't. I still like my, my Ray Dunn very, very much, but I want more room for my ironstone. So, I don't know what to do. Um, if y'all have some suggestions or know of anybody that I think I want to downgrade just a little bit, maybe slim it down just a little bit. I mean, it's fitting very well down there, but as you see, I it's kind of it's kind of tight in here. So I want to put the rest of my um, glasses in here, which is only three more. But 
I'm always looking at pretty ironstone. So um, if y'all have any suggestions on to keep or not to keep or how to maybe get rid of it and get, get a better deal than some places. But um, I just wanted to share that with you, how I styled a few of my things. Um, we still have our val Valentine's decor up because it's, it's the week before Valentine's Day. And, you know, I have my little paper heart garland here. I found a few more of these at the antique shop the other day. I just didn't want to pay $12.99, so I got these a little bit cheaper. But um, I've got my pictures up there. I just love this little display. It's got my my little um, tiny crocs and some clocks and some ironstone bowls and some baby Bibles and some ironstone butter pats, a little jar of white buttons that's very old, a little cow creamer. These are iron stone um, insulators, and I have that little sweet egg gathering basket. It's tiny. I think it was just a reproduction or something, but it's adorable. I have a couple of brass candlesticks and um, a little crock here and an egg coddler, ironstone egg coddler here and a little mini creamer here. Some old clocks in this. Um, this is just a hearth and hand cake plate, um, cake riser, whatever. And this is quite a few of the small clocks. If you can see here, I have them all in a big glass, clear glass jar. So, but, um, and this is um, the other shelf over here. I know I need to take down this shelf because it's kind of too many, but anyways, I've got my collection of old Bibles and stuff up here, the little New Testaments, some Valentine's Day stuff, and a, a large, um, um, cheese mold slash strainer, um, some of my white with green stripe. Um, these are butter pats and a little um, cup and little, some um, saucers, little mini bowls like um, berry bowls and a little tiny creamer there. Um, I love this one right here. This is, um, I just recently got both of these jars right here. It was, I got three jars, including this one right here, this one right here, for $12 at a um, thrift store. I love my little 14 numbers. I like that this one still had the mustard on it, and it's a product of France, so it's in, it's, some of it's um, in French. My little, a little collection of um, Bibles there, black Bibles, and uh, another Dundee jar, and um a flower frog and some more um, butter pats and I just got this recently it's a little um, pie bird I ordered this off the antiquer the antique her I don't know if y'all heard of that before but um, another Bible here and a little this came with my order from the antiquer it's a isn't that cool it's a um, postcard an old postcard Here's my little um, hymnal thing, um, my little Anna Lee. She looks like she's shooting a bird, so that's kind of odd to me, but she's my little Valentine. Isn't she precious? I have a collection of um, metal flower frogs and glass flower frogs in this pretty apothecary jar. Isn't that gorgeous? Sorry, I'm working on cleaning the bathroom, so I emptied the garbage. It's tomorrow's garbage day. And I have a pretty pothos here in this um, this apothecary jar filled with butter pats, butter stamps, whatever you want to call them, and individual creamers. And I just love it. So I hope y'all love it too. Um, anyways, that's all I wanted to share with y'all. And I hope y'all have a fantastic day. Thank you again for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Y'all have a lovely day. Goodbye.